Hey everyone, it's Mari here. Thanks so much for stopping by my channel today. I have a card making process to share with you and I'm going to be making this card today on my video. This is an eight by four and a half card and I'm going to be using the Mama Elephant Stamp and Die set. This is the Cool Penguin set and it has all of these really sweet little penguins and these little penguins are wrapping presents and so on. And I'll be using all of the images in that stamp set for my card today. I'm also going to be using this die from Simon Says Stamp. This is the fa -la, la die. I'm going to just be using that word fa -la, la and not the little border that goes around it. And I'm going to be cutting that out of some Simon Says Stamp red glitter paper for my sentiment on my card today. I'm also going to be using some Lawn Fawn dies on, for my card today. So I'm going to be using these stitched mountains and I'm also going to be using the uh, stitched puffy cloud border dies as well. So the stitch mountain borders and the stitch puffy cloud border dies. So that's the die that I'm going to use here on my card. And I'm just going to quickly show you here that you can see that I used it more to make make it look like it's snow banks more than clouds, or at least that's what I was going for on the card. Now I'm going to stamp out all of my images here using my Misty and I'm going to use some Memento Tuxedo Black ink because I am going to be Copic coloring my images here today. So I'm going to get those all stamped out here. I ink them up a few times just to make sure that they leave a really good impression on my paper. I am using some Bristol Smooth cardstock here and I'm going to use a little bit of tumbled glass to just put some color on the top of my top folding card here to create the impression of some sky. So I just used my distressing tool there and put that tumble glass on there. Now you can see that I have cut my mountains out of some gray cardstock, that Simon Says Stamp fog cardstock. And what I did was I just put that through my big shot twice, just sort of making that elongated mountain stretch and then the clouds uh, border uh, die I used to create that impression of the snow bank as well. So now that part I'm just going to set aside and I'm going to start to color my penguins and the little gifts and so on. I'm not going to color all of these on camera. This is just some basic coloring that I'm going to do here with some Copic markers. I'm going to start out with my C's, um, my C uh, Copics in um, the cool grays. So I'm using C3, C5, and C7 here. Um, I use C3 and C5 to start with, just going in with a lighter color and then shading with the C5 and then going back with the C3 to blend it out. But I found that that was pretty light. I felt like penguins are a little bit darker than that. So I actually ended up going in with my C7 and darkening it up a little bit. And you'll see that as I go through. I'm actually using an E43 for the little horns on that one little penguin and going in with an E57 just to shade that a little bit. I'm going to use um, YR04 for the little, um, they're not called feet, but whatever penguins have. <laughs> For their little feet, I'm going to use the YR04, and then I'm also going to use that for their little noses as well. This is where you can see here, I'm going in with a C7 just to darken up those dark gray areas a little bit and just blending that out with the C5 and the C3. And I'm going to use lots of reds here and greens. Um, I'm going to use R46 and R89 for my reds. And I'm going to color some of the, the presents green as well. And the greens that I'm going to be using are YG06, YG06 and G07 to do a little bit of shading on the greens. I'm also going to bring a little bit of teal and a little bit of blue in as well in some of the areas. I just thought those were all kind of really pretty colors that, um, might be on presents, on gifts. I didn't want all of the gifts to be the same color. So these blues are B21 and B24 that I'm going to be using. And the teals and blue greens that I'm going to be using are BG10, BG13, and BG18. So you'll see me, you may or may not see me using those. I can't remember if I colored any of the teal on camera or if I did that all off camera, but 
Um, if I did it off camera, those are the BGs that I use, 10, 13, and 18. So I'm just going in here with, like I said, with that R46 to do the reds. And I think I do all of the ribbon on all of the presents in red. I just find that pop of red on here is, is just really nice. Looks very festive. And then with the, with the red glitter fa -la, la on there for the sentiment, I think it just brings it all out really nicely. So just going in with that R89 and doing a little bit of shading and then going back with the R46 to blend it out. And then with the greens, just using those tones of greens that I mentioned as well. Now I'm just gonna take all of the dies and I'm going to just use a little bit of post-it tape and secure those dies down to my paper. And then I'll just use this, take this and do one pass through my big shot and cut these out. I just really love having the coordinating dies for these little images. It just makes it so much easier. And you'll just see that they just, a die cuts them so nicely. I'm gonna pop all of those out and get them set out. And I'm gonna lay them out on the card just to kind of see how I want them to look. Just gonna finish popping those out. Now I'm gonna just bring my little scene back here. I'm gonna put those down and I'm going to decide that I actually need another snowbank in the foreground. So I end up taking another strip of the Bristol Smooth cardstock and I cut another strip with that puffy cloud uh, border from Lawn Fawn just to put in front of the little critters there and you'll see that here in a minute. I'm also going to put the snow caps on my little mountains here and I've cut those out of white and I'm just going to stick those down with a little bit of liquid adhesive just using my tweezers to um, put those into place. So just get those all stacked down and then I'll be ready to stick my little critters, my little penguins in the snow on the front of the card as well. Just gonna finish sticking those down. I'll just trim that little snow cap off that one little mountain at the end there. And I'll be ready to place the penguins and all of the other little embellishments on there as well. So there's that extra little strip of clouds, AKA snowbank. And I just think this looks really cute. I think it looks neat. I mean, it might look weird. It might almost look like they are clouds, but I, I think your imagination can can see that they would be snow banks as well. I do have the the snow bank borders, the stitch borders for the the wavy uh, snow banks that I could have put on there, but I just thought these were really cute, so I wanted to use them. Okay, so now I'm just going to go ahead and start sitting those in the spots where I think they might look okay. I'm going to just adjust them slightly here and there. And I just really loved all of these little images and I wanted to use all of them. I could have saved some of them for another card, but the reason why I wanted to make a bigger card was so that I could get them all on here. Now what I did, I do have the We Are Memory Keepers envelope um, maker with the, the little scoreboard. And what I did was I looked on there to see um, what the measurement of the card would have to be for a certain kind of or a certain size of envelope. So I made an envelope that is going to fit this card and it is going to, to cost a little bit more to mail it, but that's fine. I think it's really adorable and I'll probably end up sending my sister this one. Um, so you can see I cut the falala -la out of a few pieces of the white cardstock and then just layered that glitter paper on top of them just so that it pops up a little bit. Now I'm just taking my Nouveau Shimmer pen and I'm just going over the little bits and pieces here and there of the, the Copic colored areas that I want to add a little bit of sparkle and shine to. And then I'm going to go in with my white gel pen and I'm going to add a little bit of detail as well. It's important to add the gel pen after you do anything with that Nouveau pen. Um, because the Nouveau pen will actually smear the white gel pen. Uh, how do I know that? Um, you can you can almost imagine um, it's happened to me where I didn't realize that was the case and it smeared the, the white ink all over the place. So now that I've got that Nouveau shimmer pen down that I want, I'm just gonna go in and add some details 
with that white gel pen. Now, I don't know why, but for some reason, I colored the pom-pom and the Santa hats red, and I didn't want them to be red. So I just added a little bit of white gel pen to the pom-poms, and then I added a little bit of diamond stickles. And I'm also going to use some Christmas red stickles um, on some of the ribbon areas, and uh, just a few little bits, uh, areas here, here and there with the red stickles. And I, I actually am a sucker for stickles. I love those things. They're some of my favorite um, embellishment products to add to a card. So I'm just going to continue to add just a little bit of a highlight to certain little areas. I'm going to add some polka dots to some of the scarves and some of the presents. I think I end up making all of the green wrapping paper polka dot. And I'm going to add some stripes to some of the wrapping paper as well with a white gel pen. Just adding a variety of details here and there just to give a little bit more of um, just texture, I guess, more than anything, and additional interest to the different spots with that gel pen. So I'm just gonna continue that until I think I've got all the little additions that I want there. And I'm liking how that's looking. So I'm gonna take an E0000 and add some little color to the little cheeks of my little penguins and just make them look like they're kind of nice and rosy. And then I'll just take a little bit more of that white gel pen and add a little bit of a white dot to the little cheeks as well. Now I'm going to take the black glaze pen from Sakura and add that to all of the little eyes of the penguins. And that actually adds some dimension as well. It, it gives it a kind of like a little raised dot. I'm also going to add some Nouveau Crystal Drops in gloss white to the sky area and onto the mountains to make it look like there's a little bit of snow falling as well. And I think just that adds just a little bit of additional fun detail. Guys, that's about it for my card today. I hope you enjoyed this. I had a lot of fun creating this. I love making cards. It's so much fun. And it's just kind of like de-stress time in my craft room. And I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, make sure you leave me a comment if you have any questions. And I'd love to hear from you guys. Thanks so much for stopping by. Have an amazing day and I'll see you another time. Bye-bye.